Welcome back to another video. Today we have the Tech Life circular saw with metal handle, six blades, four and three quarters and four and a half laser guide, 5.8 amps, max cutting depth up to one and eleven sixteenths. Um, Tech Life did send me this um, to for me to review for you guys, unbox, test it out, see if it works, see if it doesn't. Um, don't forget to help out the channel by subscribing, hitting the like, hitting the bell icon. All right, before we start, um, this this saw. If you like the saw, if you want to purchase it, I will be leaving the link down below on the the Amazon link on the uh, video description of this uh, video down down below. The saw is actually going to be cheaper. Um, October twelfth for fifty five dollars and ninety seven cents. And October 13 for sixty-three dollars and seventeen cents. So if you guys like this uh, saw, this video, be sure to check it out. See if that's a saw that uh, that's good for you. All right, let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing. Uh, we got Tech Life uh, TCS 11 or 115A uh, power tools mini circular saw with laser. Um, 120 volts, 60 hertz, 5.8 amps, no load speed, uh, 3,500 RPM, max cutting depth, uh, 90 degrees, 43 millimeters, 45 degrees, uh, 28.5 millimeters laser guide. So it does have a laser. So let's unbox this real quick for you guys, so we can get down to the point. All right. So some instructions here. And maybe a tool. Maybe, yeah, it's like a hex. All right, first thing we see, we see some sort of blades here. So I'll save this, I'll put this on the side for the vacuum, maybe. If you want to put a vacuum on the saw and you know, it helps with the, the sawdust. So we'll set this right here. All right, we got the saw. So as you guys see, it's a nice saw. It's a really nice saw. Gray uh, area. This is all rubber, including this part. This is plastic. See, it's just like a. This is the guard. Um, the blade itself. Uh, it's a Tech Life. It says wood, four and three quarters, 120 millimeters. 24 teeth TCT blade have the depth so if you want to put this um, like the blade here so if you want to put it deeper you want to cut deeper you can cut all the way down it says here all the way down to 1.5 inches so this blade goes all the way down 1.5 inches as you guys see there so if you want to lock the blade it does have a button on this side you press this button you press this button and then you can move, you can lock the blade so in case you need to take this apart or change this blade um, it tells you where to uh, lock it and lock it. this part it does have um, a guide here so it tells you the inches so if you want to cut one inch uh, one inch from the blade here you have to put you put it from here from the zero where the blade is at so you can put either one inches half an inch one inch all the way down. Wow, sounds really nice. All right, yeah, pretty much. Um, I do apologize that my camera didn't record the sound somehow. Using the tool, the measuring tool, to just cut ba with basically with this tool um, you know the side tool that you can measure pretty much two inches three inches up to seven inches depth um, as you can see uh, it's pretty close to two inches that's what I measured this uh, this this cut to be about two inches or so so I gotta say it's pretty close um, I'm actually gonna be doing another cut here for you guys and as you guys see the cut here is pretty clean 
Um, this is a framing blade, by the way. Does have a laser guide, so I'm gonna I'm gonna see that's another cut. I do apologize with the with the camera the footage itself too because it actually ended up being um, a time lapse instead of a regular video. But um, there's parts where it's a regular video. Changing the blade here, it's pretty simple. You um, lock the blade with the button. Um, yeah, pretty much on the right side, and then you just use the tool to um, unwind the the screw and it is backwards just to let you know um, right there I did cut the another piece of uh, wood there it doesn't look not too bad it looks pretty clean that is the finishing um, the 60 tooth blade so that's the finishing wood blade that you would see so you guys see a really nice cut there um, this plywood this piece of plywood is really old the first cuts were really nice as you guys did see right now we're changing the blade we're going to be putting uh, actually cutting a, a piece of tile uh, scrap a piece of scrap tile that I had um, as you guys see there it's blowing a lot of dust I, sh I know I should have put it the vacuum as you guys see it does work if you put a vacuum on this thing it's going to suck all the dust out and uh, it's going to perform quite well so I would definitely, if you guys are cutting with a uh, tile or uh, even wood, definitely recommend you guys using the a small, at least a small vacuum. As you guys see, it does have that port right there on the top where you guys see all the dust coming out. And I did pause it because I had to put my mask on and you know my safety equipment. Um, it's not that the saw stalled or anything actually. It surprised me. It surprised me how well it cut and does have a lot of strength there to uh, make that cut. You guys see there how nice and uh, clean um, that tile cut is. And uh, that's pretty much. And I did have a tip left over because I didn't see it. But um, no problem. So we're going to put that saw in there and take care of that. Clean it off. And that end, it was already broken like that. So it's not it's not the tool that broke it or anything it was it's this piece of scrap uh, tile you guys see the cut there not too bad um, the thing is that with, if you're cutting tile you have to you have to push it slower so it'll be cleaner I was actually pushing it um, you know pushing it really hard and that's not the way to do it it's you're supposed to just do it slow so you can make it a nice clean cut um, pretty much learn as you go uh, this is a great saw for DIYs for a small project around the house it'll pretty much cut any type of cement tile um, wood plastic anything that's uh, that's pretty much you know for DIY projects around the house this is a great little saw here. Um, it does have a handle as you guys see right there on the front to the left side. Really nice handle. You get a lot of grip. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend you guys putting the, the vacuum when you're doing tile because there's a lot of dust involved in this uh, type of cut. Um, I'm really impressed with this little machine. It does have a lot of power. It never stalled. Um, I was the one that actually <laughs> didn't press the button at the end of one of the cuts, but it was just me. It wasn't the saw. The saw has enough uh, power to get through pretty much tile or cement. Whatever you put on this little saw, it'll take it. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to help out the channel by subscribing, hitting the like, hitting the bell icon. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching.